Yeah. Hey, smiling faces, smiling faces. Uh, yeah. Sean Williams and Nick Russell will go ahead and open it up. I'm going to go back and get coached. You wouldn't let us ask you about New York for the last week or so. Now that we get to ask, your, tell us your thoughts about going to Big Madison. Big time, baby. Big time. I'm look, so looking forward to it. Uh, but we got some days to prepare, so we just got to come out and have good practices. But, um, I mean, we're going to celebrate this one for sure because that was a great game. Tell me about the shot when you went in the basket. That was like a tough shot for you. Oh, yeah, it was tough. And I should have been shooting free throws. I love, that was pretty much love right there. It's always one hit. Uh, but, you know, it was, it was a tough shot. Uh, but, you know, it went in. And, um, I missed a few bunnies. I, I really missed a few bunnies. I had a, I, I was struggling trying to find an open shot to get an open look. But, uh, yeah, that one went in for me for sure. So I'm, I'm happy for it. You know, it is what it is. Did you guys think that you, you, if you kept the game close because it was Nick and Tuck uh, for quite a few down the stretch, you could probably win the game? Well, they, they do a good job of, of running zone. And um, we kind of struggled with zone all year. So, I mean, they, they, they kind of shook us for a little bit, but we made some big plays when, when we needed to, and we got stops at the right time. And they, they did a good job. They hit a lot of tough shots. And, I mean, they, they're a well-coached team. What's it mean for the program to go to the Mecca of basketball, the Garden? I mean, it's, it's big in general, not only for the fact that we're going to the Garden, but that we made it this far, you know what I mean? Because, uh, I mean, I guess it was a week ago or so, you know, we were all bummed out that we didn't make the tournament. So the fact that we're able to, to make it this far is, I mean, that's, that's big time for us collectively as a team, you know. So it's just cherry on top to be able to play in the Madison Square Garden. But the fact that we made it this far, that's, that's the best thing about it. How about two partners from Dunkin' Dogs going to the Garden? <laughs> man, this is, my first, this, this is my first time playing in the Garden, so I'm excited, man. Same, same. You, obviously, I guess you probably thought this would be a very tough game going in, but uh, have either of you guys ever experienced a finish like that? Uh, man, I've been playing basketball for a long time, man. So uh, I have, but you know that that this right here, I'm I'm a cherish this one forever because that was that was a great game. Both teams were fighting. Uh, both teams wanted to win that game for sure, and uh, it, no better place than having that in Moody. I mean, you know, after the fans rushing the floor, I mean, it was just it, it was it was a great time for sure. Was the fans storming the court? Did it feel any different this time than the first time? Against who was it? Connecticut, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah, it, it was a little bit sweeter this time because we're going to New York. I mean, we was pl we playing for something now, so I mean, it, it, it was sweet, man. I, I gotta say, the fans did a great job. They always do a great job. What was Coach Brown like in the locker room now that you're taking him home to New York? Coach Brown was Coach Brown. He said, um, you know, we won a game, get ready, off tomorrow, practice the next day. Yeah. Was there any? I guess something going to you guys' mind. This could be our last game at home, but we got to get the job done tonight. Oh, that's what it's, that's what it's been about all year. I mean, because you know we lost the last game. You know we thought the last game against Louisville, and we lost that one. And uh, that that was that was that was, it was a horrible taste. But to come back, bounce back, win three in a row at home, uh, and finish off in Moody like this, I'm 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 grateful. I'm grateful just to be a part of this whole thing. On the final shot that Nick Moore hit to win it. Um, was it drawn up for him, or was it simply run a play, whoever gets the best look, take the shot? That's a play we, we practice every day, and there's it's a couple options to it, but uh, we, we was trying to get Nick the ball. We knew if he got a good look, he was going to make it. He, he was a great shooter, and Marcus set a great screen, yeah. probably the best screen he's ever set in his life. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that's what happens. How, how difficult is it to, maybe come, to gather yourselves and come back to, to hit to get a game-winning shot like that after they had taken a, the lead on a s similar shot on the very previous play. Not not hard at all. I mean, we got to move on, really. I um, mean, you know, it, it's we can't dwell at all because it was 15.4 seconds or something like that at the time. So I mean, it was no time for us to dwell. They made that tough shot. I mean, that was a, a tough shot that he made, and uh, you know, I mean, it was we came back and we hit him right in the mouth, and now we're here. So great. When Nick's shot went in. Did you think New York? Did you think get back on defense? What were you thinking when you saw the ball go through the rim? I was I was happy. We were happy, but you got five or five or six seconds left, and you know they've been hitting tough shots all night. So we knew we had to you know play great defense to, to get away with the win. And that shot he hit the, the, the shot before was similar to that one. He been hitting that shot all game. So when he shot it, I was nervous. Was there any sense of panic because Cal kept staying close, taking the lead, coming back? And up to this point, the last two games, y'all basically run off late in the game. Was there any panic or sense of 
fear getting late in the game and they kept hanging up? No, no panic at all. Cause we felt like, uh, I mean, going into the game, we knew it was going to be a tough game. We knew it was going to be a grind. So uh, it was no panic. We knew it was going to be both teams fighting it out, taking taking hits. But it was no panic. Uh, I mean, we just had to get stops. That's, that's what one thing it was. It seemed like we were trading baskets at times, and we needed to get stops consistently. Um, and I felt like we did that. They were making tough shots, but you know, when the buzzer went off, we got it. Is there more of a desire to win this tournament now to prove everybody wrong that snubbed you out of the NCAA? Oh, it was uh, that that was three three two two games ago. That was that was the whole point two games ago. I mean, now that we're here, of course, but when we didn't make the tournament, we said we had to win this tournament to prove them wrong. So that that just didn't start right now. That's that's been going on forever. All right. Anything else for Charter Nick? All right. Thanks, guys. All right, get Coach Brown up next. Thank you. Yeah, Coach. Hey, congratulations, guys. All right. Good luck. Good. How's your heart rate? No, I'm fine. I mean, you know, we hadn't been in a game like this. Well, one against Virginia early in the year. And we didn't execute with 16 seconds. Um, but then, um, I feel bad for Cal, but if I was their coach, I'd, I'd be really proud of my team. To have a, have a turnaround like they had, to lose their starting center, you know, to have their other big kid hurt, to have one of their starters with a broken nose. Um, he, did a, he did a phenomenal job of coaching that team and controlling the game. Um, you know, they, they played about as perfect a game as you could pl play. They, uh, they didn't have something early on the break. They made us guard for 30 seconds. They took great shots. Um, I thought he managed his bench great. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, Nick Russell makes a big layup. Uh, and Nick Moore makes a huge shot. Uh, you know, he just missed the three earlier, and I, was, I wasn't real happy with the shot selection. And, but uh, we've, we've run that play in practice every day. You know, we, own, we practice it. We haven't used it once in a game, maybe once that I can remember. Um, I thought they would play man. They had played zone the whole time, and fortunately they were in man, and Marcus set a great screen. And, we got a wide open look. I wasn't thinking of a three, to be honest with you. I was hoping we'd be able to post the ball, you know. But, you know, we had a great shooter, make a big shot, and not be afraid of it. Um, and I think that's his MO. But for Nick, Nick Russell and Sean, I'm thrilled. Again, they said something. I, I haven't talked to them about the NCAA. That was over in my mind weeks ago. We, and you know, we had our chance to go to the NCAA tournament. Um, we didn't get it done, but to be in the NIT, there's only 20 teams left playing now. And after this weekend, I think there'll only be eight left, and we're one of them. And that is so great for our program um, and for our kids. And again, I, you know, Matt Darty left me with some class kids. And I think the class of those kids allowed us to move on. I'm just um, with a, a finish like that, the excitement of the crowd, Nick Moore hitting a shot like that, how does that compare to any of the other games that you've seen throughout your career? Well, right now it's my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, I was kind of in awe of what they were doing, to be honest with you. Uh, but. You know, I'm just happy for our seniors. You know, I, I, we talked about this. We had a terrible senior night. The beginning of senior night was great because Nick and Sean were recognized and it was a full house. La last senior night we had, we had friends and family. But we had senior night against Louisville and you couldn't have a better atmosphere and we didn't play right. right. But we got a chance to have another senior night. You know, and for those kids. And to have it end the way it did with those guys contributing, this is a highlight for me. Larry, I know it's all about your players. What, what, what's it mean for you to go back home and 
play at the Mecca Basketball Garden? I don't know if they'll let me in. <laughs> um, I got to go back, you know, when I was in Charlotte. I did not feel good about New York because of, you know, I didn't do a real good job coaching the Knicks. But for my team, um, growing up, we talked about this. The NIT was huge when I was a boy. Um, and Fran Fischella put it in perspective when he talked to our team when we got into the tournament. But for me personally, I get to see my family. I get to eat at some great restaurants. Um, and I, I get to coach in a place that you know is it, special. I mean, it's the garden. It's, I'm so thankful our kids are going to get to have that opportunity. There's nothing better than that. When, and when you're part of it and you're going to see the excitement on their part, you know, that's why you, Feel so lucky I'm coach. I'd ask, I'd ask the players about was there any panic from them as the game got later? Cal kept hanging around, taking the lead. Was there any panic from you or any of the other coaches during that time, or were you just kind of sitting back and letting it play out? Oh, I wasn't sitting back. <laughs> <laughs> and I was trying to figure out how I could help our team get a stop, and I don't think I did that, you know. Kid raised up and shot a jump shot, you know. Young kid raised up and shot a jump shot like it was nothing. When the ball, when the three went in that hit the front of the rim and bounced straight up, went down, I thought we were in a little trouble. But when I saw Nick, you know, drive baseline and make the layup, I thought, wow, you know, now, you know, it's in our hands. You know, all we have to do is get a stop and make a play. And, you know, we didn't get to stop the possession I was hoping for, but, you know, we got to stop the last shot. And I, I don't think I pan I hope I don't panic. I've been through it enough. You know, you should enjoy moments like that. And when your team performs and makes a play, you know, that you worked on, you know, I have great out admiration for all of them. Good time for one more. Of Coach, uh, there was a moment in the second half where you turned to the uh, the crowd and you get your hands like that and explain that because they came alive. No, they were in the whole game, but they were loud. Ooh, they were loud. <laughs> but it, I didn't think it affected Cal. I was hoping it affected it Cal. It affected me. I got real I got goosebumps. You know, when you coach here like I did last year with my staff and then you know, I used to look to Tim Jankovic and say, What the hell are we doing here? You know? And then we go to Garland, and it's friends and family, and you play seven games in Garland, and then all of a sudden this beautiful building opens up, and you have the kind of support we have. We don't beat Cal Irvine, we don't beat LSU, we don't beat Cal without the support. And that, I just hope they recognize that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck in New York. Thank you. Thank you.